Hey everybody, this is Greg from Safe Ride for Kids, where our mission is to help you make every arrival a safe arrival. Today we're going to be talking about the new Ride Safer Delight Travel Vest. Uh, I'm going to go through all the features of it, but the important thing to know up front is that there is only one Ride Safer Vest now, and the option will be whether or not you add a tether or not, the tether strap. So that'll be one of the variables. But whether you choose to not get the tether or you choose to get the tether, uh, you'll get the same vest. It's just whether or not you're going to have the option of using the tether or not. And we've got other videos that talk about that. And then now I'm going to go through the features of the vest. The other thing to note while uh, Amy's zooming in here is that right now we have three colors. We're going to have uh, black with gray trim, the yellow, and then we're going to have the gray with black trim. <clears throat> and maybe that'll change in the coming months, but for now those are the color options we have available. Let's start right up here at the top with the new uh, head slash neck pillow. Um, you'll notice in the owner's manual that it still says head pillow, but it is intended to be more of a neck pillow with this portion here coming under the child's ear. It velcros, or hook and loop, to the back of the vest. You'll notice that there's going to be some sort of a cover here covering uh, <clears throat> the hook part and then you'll just take those off, store them in a safe place and uh, attach the headrest to the back of the vest. This is where uh, the shoulder portion of the seat belt buckles in. Underneath here is a clip. This clip is able to be adjusted this way as well as to ride up and down the the harness strap uh, so that's intended to give maximum flexibility and maximum um, correct fit for the seatbelt in the vehicle you'll notice that the back of the bit is very padded and the purpose of that is to help absorb and dissipate the crash energy of the seatbelt <clears throat> where it uh, is contacting the child's shoulder You'll notice here at the top of the vest that there are two rings. Those are for the attachment of the tether strap. You'll also notice that this is nice and wide here at the top. Um, the underlying harness is an inch and a half wide, but with this cover on it, it actually extends it out to a two inches, uh, providing a nice uh, wide strap to ensure that the harness stays on the child's shoulders. The next thing to look at is the new buckle. And we're going to look at it here. So there are two rings. You can kind of see that there are two pieces of metal here. <clears throat> and by pressing on the sewn circles on the, the webbing, that aligns the metal to unbuckle. Now, when this is buckled correctly and, and snug on the child, this buckle is, doesn't come out. So we're, the manufacturer is hoping that this is actually going to help uh, reduce the odds of children who like to get out of buckles by themselves. Um, this should slow them down because this is a new type of buckle. So as the parent, all that you need to do is squeeze right here and that aligns the two rings to where you can then just unbuckle it. So um, we'd love to get some feedback on that as well. So if you use that and you like it, let us know. If you don't like it, let us know and we'll provide that feedback to the manufacturer over at Safe Traffic System. The next thing to look at is, let's actually go to the inside of the vest here, is right here on the inside are all the FMVSS 213 required labels with the model number, manufacturer date, things of that nature. This is also the pouch where your instruction book will live. Um, and if there's a cover on the Velcro, that would be a great place to store that as well. The label that's on the outside of the vest here is actually where you're going to find the weight ranges. The small is 30 to 60, and the large, this will say 50 to 80 pounds. And that's going to be your, your primary indicator 
of what size vest you have is right here on the weight limits. The next thing to look at here is going to be the lap portion. <clears throat> the manufacturer is recommending that these be at a slight angle so that these the vest or the lap portion of the vest here is kind of angling the vehicle's seatbelt this way around the child's lap. Um, the other thing to note here is that it is normal for the seatbelt to buckle somewhat in there to be kind of scrunched. Uh, that is okay as long as it's remaining inside the clips. We're good to go. Uh, these two clips here are where the Y part of the crotch strap, which will also ship with every vest, attaches to the back and then comes through the child's crotch to the front. This is a totally optional piece. Um, it is there to help keep the back part of the vest down as well as train the child to um, sit properly in the vest. Let's go to the back here. You'll notice that the, ride, the back of the Ride Safer, the harness, is adjustable on the back. So with this new version, uh, if you've looked at the vest before, there were two prior models, one that had the adjustability, the other one that had the tether ability, but now the manufacturer has incorporated both of those features into one vest, which is great. Thank you all for all your feedback on that. So the harness, adjusting the back fit of the vest is there to uh, reduce the gap at the child's shoulders, but you'll notice that it doesn't change the, the positioning of the seatbelt on the front of the child. So um, this adjustability is just to make the vest more comfortable on the child's shoulders. Um, it is normal for there to be a gap um, underneath the harness and sometimes even around the child because what we're looking at is the positioning of the seatbelt on the front. And um, yes, it does say that it's supposed to be snug in the owner's manual. Um, the manufacturer made a comment to us that there is some language that is required by federal standards, and one of those words to be included is snug. But if you think about the crash dynamics, the positioning of the seatbelt on the front of the child is the primary um, thing that we want to, the primary factor that we want to look at when we're looking at crash, uh, crash dynamics and pre-crash positioning. The other thing to, to notice here is that on the back of the vest, you'll notice this piece, this loop of webbing that is there to help ensure that the uh, shoulder straps stay properly positioned on the shoulders. And um, those are the main features of the ride, the new Ride Safer Delight Travel Vest. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at Safe Ride for Kids. We're happy to be the number one uh, retailer and source of customer service and quest answering questions about the Ride Safer Vest, as well as our other products. And uh, thanks for joining us today. Remember that safety is about putting the odds in your favor. Have a great day.